Now, if you remember, rectification allows the production of a DC signal from an AC input. However, the DC is imperfect as it has a great level of variation in its voltage. But microchips require a perfect DC of around 5 volts to work. Now, a rectified signal, even if it's fully rectified, is not good enough to continuously run a chip in a circuit because of these fluctuations in the voltage. So in order to run computers and so on, this fluctuation must be removed. And this process is called smoothing. Now, so this basically, this smoothing turns a bumpy rectified signal into a smooth, near perfect direct current, which the microchips can use. And a capacitor is used to do this. Now let's look at this input signal here, which is fully rectified. The, um, the capacitor is going to absorb some of the charge and some of these. Now, how do you think a capacitor does this? What I would say is that when we can see from here is that when the voltage is, is in one direction, what happens when the voltage would drop to a very low value, the capacitor has been charged and then it slowly discharges through the resistor here. So basically this is what happens. This discharging capacitor keeps the voltage high because of the voltage stored, the charge stored across the capacitor. So this is how we use a capacitor. We'll start. Now a rectified signal is directed through a bulb the repeated drops in voltage cause the bulb's brightness to vary. Smoothing will make sure it keeps a constant level of light. Adding a capacitor to the circuit will smooth the signal. Initially, the capacitor is not charged. As the input voltage builds, the capacitor begins to charge. When the input voltage peaks gets to its highest value, as here, the difference across the capacitor is very similar to that across the power supply because it charges very quickly. When the input voltage drops, it becomes smaller than the potential difference across the capacitor. And this causes the capacitor to discharge, maintaining the voltage supplied to the bulb. It doesn't discharge immediately or so quickly because there's the resistance of the light bulb. It discharges fairly slowly. So this is a very smooth decay here. When the input voltage increases again, it becomes higher than the potential difference across the capacitor and the capacitor begins to charge again. So it basically keeps the voltage across here, across the light bulb, fairly constant. This cycle will repeat indefinitely. The capacitor smooths the rectified signal, meaning the bulb re receives a near constant voltage and emits a constant light level. So you can see that it charges and then slowly discharges. Charges, slowly discharges. You can hear. Charges, then slowly discharges. But it keeps the voltage here fairly constant. The combination of a bridge rectifier and a capacitor can convert an AC signal to a near perfect DC signal. Notice this is the same full rectifying circuit before with a load, but we have a capacitor here. The electricity entering the circuit will normally pass through a transformer first. This will bring its voltage down to a more appropriate level to be able to run microchips. Let's match the oscilloscope readings to the circuits. Let's look at the easiest thing first. The battery is a fixed thing there. Uh, this one is a uh, half rectified circuit. Main, our mains power supply is this. This is a main supply and a diode. This is the main supply with a bridge circuit but no capacitor. This is a mains power with a bridge circuit and a capacitor with a supply diode and a capacitor. I would say this is a half rectified circuit. So this goes with this, and this is a, f um, a f 
uh, a fully baked white turkey with the capasta. There we go. Well done, thank you.